What's good guys, Ninja here, and today I'm coming to talk to you guys about the Nintendo Switch Online Services, as well as let you know what my Splatfest team is. So, with a lot of thought, I regretfully tell you all that I picked Team Mikey, bitch! It was no thought, come on. It was not even an option or a choice to have to make there. Team Mikey it is all day. If you didn't pick Team Mikey, then you can pick the Team L Catcher, the losers themselves. Last Splatfest was pretty interesting because a lot of you picked the wrong team and then a lot of you took L's and couldn't fight with me on stream. So hopefully this Splatfest you guys are able to fight with me on stream. Now, the Nintendo Switch online service. Let's get right into this. We cracking open the crab and get straight to the meat. Nintendo, what the hell are you doing? Let's be real. It's bothering me so much that there are like lackluster amount of people actually talking about this issue. Most of the people on the web or on YouTube are only speaking about virtual console this or virtual console that or NES classic this, NES classic that. No one has yet to speak on this particular issue. When is the Nintendo Switch going to get the same exact services and features that the other consoles have? If you think about it for one second, just think, what are the main features that the Nintendo Switch's online service is lacking in the most? I'll let it set in for a minute, I'll give you guys a second. It's like, nah, if I give you a second, you'll sit here and you'll take all day and you'll never know because, as I said, no one is speaking about it. So, I'm going to piss off a couple people when I say this, but I'm more interested in getting messaging, inviting friends to parties, party chat, so that way we can have good matchmaking versus just caring about NES classics or old games. To be real, either you own the old console and you own the old games and you can play it that way or you already have an emulator or a backup created of those games and you can play them on your phone or on your computer or on whatever it is that you enjoy playing it on I personally don't see such a huge value in getting older older generations of games versus getting games from the last gen it would make more sense to me to see 3DS games ported over for a virtual console and DS games and GBA than to see the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo and the 64. Don't get me wrong, those are great consoles, but we've all had our fair share of playing those great classic games. We've yet to see any of the newer games make a release on the Nintendo Switch or on any virtual console. The one thing that I just don't get is why Nintendo is so against us as gamers being able to communicate with each other, being able to play with each other in actual games, and being able to actually party chat with each other. It seems to me as if they want to keep things very easy and smooth when you jump online into the online experience. But the problem that comes with this is that it's harder to play with friends and it makes the friends list almost obsolete or pointless to have. I get that Nintendo must be a little bit fearful of us taking over lobbies or rooms because we load it up with our friends and we all have skill or all are good and create this imbalance of players but I personally would rather fight against people who actually know each other and actually play with each other have experience with each other playing the game to cause the entire community to get better as a whole Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy just released and the biggest issue that this game faces is that when you get into an online lobby, there is no way to invite your friends or to actually play with your friends. Maybe messaging in a party system is in the works and is yet to be announced, but the most concerning thing about the Nintendo Switch online service announcement that was made to me was the fact that there was nothing announced as far as messaging and party services. All we can do is look forward to E3 and hope that E3 brings greater things and more content, more features for us instead of looking on the downside. 
I personally know I will lose quite a bit of interest in the Nintendo Switch online service if it does not have messaging and party chat. And if we cannot invite our friends directly from the Nintendo Switch and cannot party chat directly from the Nintendo Switch. It's just something about being forced to use an app on my phone to do what I could do just right there on the console itself. Let's look at Splatoon for a second. When you're playing Splatoon, you finish a match you just did awesome. And you go over to the stats section at the end of the at the end of the result screen and you notice that there is no death section. You can't see how many times you were splatted. Then head on over to the Nintendo Switch online app and you notice immediately that there are all these stats that were completely hidden from you in the game itself. It would make sense to me more that the game itself would have all of that included or more than what the online app would have. I cannot fathom having to pull out a phone and check my stats after every single match rather than just hold on to my beautiful precious Nintendo Switch controller, Joy-Con, whatever you want to call it. It just kills me. Why do we have to use an app to do something that we can do right on the Nintendo Switch itself? The Switch is capable of multitasking. It has more RAM than any Nintendo console has had to date and has more RAM than the PS3. The PS3 did not allow you to voice chat while playing a game because it used too much RAM and the game would not be able to function properly. This is not the case with the Nintendo Switch. You're able to do just that, voice chat and play the game at the same time, almost at little to no cost. If you look back at the, at the PS Vita, on the PS Vita we had party chat and we could use party chat while we played our games. It does not make sense to me that a system that has less power and more features than the Nintendo Switch can actually do something more than a Nintendo Switch. Less power, less RAM, and less popularity, but yet it gets more features. That doesn't make sense to me. What also doesn't make sense is that we have yet to see a Netflix or YouTube app. Why are these features being held from us? It isn't something simple as that. No browser. There's a lot of things to be concerned about when it comes to the Nintendo Switch online service as well as some of the features that the Nintendo Switch lacks. It's a pain in the ass to be playing a video game on my favorite console, back out of it and go to the home menu, just to have to boot up a whole entire another console just to go watch Netflix or YouTube videos. Like come on man, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. Let me know down in the comments below if you agree, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Have I missed anything that's concerning you guys? These are all of my concerns. Tell me down in the comments below. And if you agree with anything that I said in this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and let me know that I'm making content that you like or hit the thumbs down button and let me know you're a loser. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Peace out, Shinobis.